the President of the United States. The most powerful job in the world. Just as Uncle Ben said, with great power comes annoying trumpet music. Executive Command is a game by iCivics that allows you to become the President of the United States. Your task is to approve good bills that your morally ambiguous Congress comes up with, and to Godzilla way throughout the barren Washington, D.C. to deliver the new shiny laws to each of your department, who actually do your job and are so, so ugly. So it all begins as a random citizen taking their ballot and voting on who they think should be the president. And there's 12 options? After several moments to decide whose face I like the best, I decided on this guy because he looks like he's about to pick up his son from soccer practice. Oh wait, was it that guy? Well, Shirley, we've got a new president in office. And I don't know about you, but I've got high hopes for this one. Yes, Alan, I'm certainly looking forward to that State of the Union address. Wait, 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 State of the Union? Oh god, what am I gonna say? Uh, um, kids? Health? Security? Oh, 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 deficit reduction! That was awesome, Shirley. What an exciting time to be alive. Well, time to get situated on here. Oh, a, a bill? A, bi a bill already? Go away. Now, there are six departments in this game. The Department of Health, the Department of Education, you know, those guys you see at the end of Sesame Street, the Department of Energy, the Department of Homeland Security, the Department of Defense at the Pentagon, and the Treasury. There is also Andrew's Air Force Base, but unfortunately, I can't really leave my post and go golfing. I mean, like... I'm a president, and I have to do presidential stuff. So, it looks like I'm just stuck here. Huh. Oh, looks like Congress wants to hear about my agenda. Hmm. You know, kids should be paying their bills to reduce the deficit. I'm the best president there's ever been. Tonight at 7, why the president is a moron. You know, it feels like I've been signing bills to reduce the deficit, but I don't see people coming up to me and saying, Yo, there's a guy who solved the reduction of the deficit. Aw oh, man, you're so cool, I'm gonna name all my children after you. That's really what it's all about. Oh, hey, what's in the mail today? Oh, it looks like my translator hasn't gotten to this one yet. But don't worry, I have a PhD in Montanan. Monsieur President, je demande humblement que vous et votre famille Je vous donne et moi et mes familles sur un refuge au Alps français. Je m'aimer c'est les brigades chaque soir, quand mes femmes ne peuvent me voir. Et si vous voulez uh, skier, nous pouvons offrir ça ici. Wow, do I look like a sucker? I'm not going to oblige by those bigots' words. Seems like the president's handling things pretty solidly, Alan. But world conflict is on the rise, and I'm afraid there's tough challenges ahead. Calm your horses, Shirley. If me as president, no country would ever declare war on. Trust me, no country will ever declare war on us. Gentlemen, lock and load. Alright, back to... Oh, it's Florida? <sighs> they can have it, it's fine. The Netherlands military is training in the fields outside its capital city. Our generals recommend an airstrike. Navy it is. Netherlands Air Force is refueling on a tiny island about 50 miles from the US. Eh, I don't really control that, so let's just let them have it. Oh, dang it! Okay, the military sucks. Let's just get rid of it. Well, this president's term is up, Alan. Feel like all that inaugural halalaboo was justified? Not so much, I'm afraid, Shirley. Most people will remember this president for not being able to end the war. And so ends this president's term in office. And not a moment too soon. The president failed to make good on big promises made in that first state of the union, and the nation is stuck in a terrible war. I didn't really come through on the promise I made you. Sorry about this mess for War 2, I guess. This is harder than it looks, okay? 
Thanks, America. Well, there's really only one thing to do after becoming the worst president of the United States. I'm off to Vegas, baby. Are you afraid that I'm gonna turn into some kind of criminal? Quit worrying about me, okay? Something's different. I'll figure it out. Stop lecturing me, please. I don't mean to lecture and I don't mean to preach. And I know I'm not your father. Then stop pretending to be.